Nemesis is arguably one of Alton Tower's most iconic roller coasters, not only because it's a classic of course, but also because of the designer, John Wardley's famous quote. You really think your feet are gonna crack against wow. But jokes aside, it is extremely well known and it is very, 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 very highly regarded in the theme park community, both here in Europe and in the US of A. It's one of the most intense inverted roller coasters out there and it just has something about it that everyone seems to love. Well, most people. Some people seem to think it was rough, which um, those people are also wrong. But as you well and truly know by now, of course, Nemesis has undergone a massive refurbishment and all the track is gone. And it's all going to be retracked to reopen in 2024. And it may even get a retheme for all we know. Talking of a retheme, there are rumours that the entire ride experience is going to change as well. People think the ride colour scheme is going to differ to its predecessor. More theming might be added. There might be a pre-show. All that good stuff. But me being the person I am, I wanted to envision all of these different things come to life in physical form. Get your builders hats on because Nemesis is about to be transformed. Just a casual job of mine. And before I begin, if you go on to enjoy this video and you are new around here, please subscribe. And if you didn't know, we are riding Hero at Flamingoland all day in support of the charity mine. We've raised over £800 so far, which is amazing. Thank you to everyone who has donated and shown their support. But in the top right, right now, or in the description, you can go and donate. Please go and do it. It'd be greatly appreciated. So with this video, we don't know 100% with certainty, what it's definitely going to look like. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't get through to John Wardley well. I did for a second and then he told me to get lost. But with the power of Photoshop, I have taken some images of the ride in its current state. It's not current, because otherwise that'd just be in its previous form and made it appear like it will in 2024. We hope. However, I did take another trek down to Alton Towers recently and I thought, you know what, let's share what's happening in the Nemesis site right now. As you can see, there's a lot of work taking place. You've got lots of scaffolding, metal and wood. There's a digger just sat where the helix began and there's a pallet of wood as well. Could this be a wooden retract version of Nemesis? The exit ramp just outside the station is still removed. And for your information, on the 26th of April, so in two days time they're gonna open the viewing platform above nemesis yeah i thought it was gonna be the queue for subterra but what did i say don't trust me and apparently there's rumors that to go on top of it you have to pay an upcharge which <laughs> surely not i can literally go on the monorail for free but yeah soon you will be able to go and explore the realms of the nemesis site from about 100 meters away that's what it currently looks like though let's get into what it might look like in 2024. As mentioned before, the main change we're going to see is the colour scheme. Not the fact that there's new track. No, that's not the main fact. The fact the colour's going to change. There's been black track spotted at the BNM factory in Ohio. No, not that one. And we can assume it is the Nemesis track because the only ride with those sort of transitions and that inverted track that's being built right now is Nemesis. And along with that, the code that's been put underneath all the Phalanx promotion for it closing gives us red and black colours. It would be quite funny if we turned up on the 24th year of the 2000s and just saw it a bright green. I actually think the full black with red support looks really nice. Not only is it a beautiful colour scheme, but it is also very menacing, which is what you want from Nemesis. And the trains, I have no idea what's going to happen to them, so I reckon they'll stay very similar. Getting technical now, you see a lot of B&M roller coasters being built with vest restraints, so the sort of restraints you see on the Swarm, where it has like the padding here, and you had Banshee as well that got made. That's an inverted coaster. So it proves it can happen on an invert. But then an invert that opened after Banshee was Monster at Gronaland, and that doesn't have them. Hopefully, that's what comes to Nemesis. Talking of the coaster itself, though, what about the name? After an entire year and a half being shut, they're not just going to reopen Nemesis and just go, yeah, it's called Nemesis still. For marketing purposes, you'd think they'd change the name. That being said, if you didn't know, Alton Towers filed a trademark a few months back for Nemesis Reborn. You see with the name Reborn, right? If you look at the B and the O, you can see the end of the B looks like a three, and the O looks like a zero, funnily enough. And what is it next year? Nemesis's 30th birthday. There you go. Nemesis Reborn's going to have a little 30 in it. See what I'm doing? Here? I actually don't mind it because you can still call it Nemesis. Or if you want, you can just call it Reborn. I quite like it though. And next up is, of course, the actual entrance itself. Here we are. I think they'll change it up a little bit, but not too much. Obviously, that Nemesis entrance is so iconic. I don't, I don't actually know what it is. 
It's some like drill or something, but it, it, yeah, if they got rid of that, that's a big loss in my eyes. But just giving that drill a refresh if you painted it like red or black again, or just kept it brown. Either way, it keeps that old Nemesis feel, which I'd love. But the main thing I'd love to see, you could get rid of all those boards, I couldn't care less, is that piece of track right above the entrance, chained up like the original Nemesis monster sort of is. I'd love to see it on the entrance side. I'm opening my prayer circle again. Maybe outside the front as well, they'd have some phalanx operatives like they did outside of Subterra for a while and they're still doing it now. Of course, past the entrance comes the queue line. The queue for Nemesis is very much just trees and grass at the moment and a lot of rock work when you get down into the pits of the ride. But up at the top, considering that keeps getting used more recently, it'd be nice to see some more theming, some old Nemesis props or something like that, you know. As we go towards the ride though, I could see a lot of screens being used, little TV screens here and there, just sort of directing us on the story. Building anticipation, as one will say. I did once say that I'd love to see a pre-show made for this ride now. I don't think they have the space for it, because if you extend the building out, you just go into the zero-g roll. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, again, they might have learnt from Curse that a walking pre-show is quite a cool idea, so they might do something like that as well. And it would give a nice bit of storyline too. Of course, Nemesis Subterra, if that does, well, when that does open, whatever story that has, obviously, Nemesis 2 will probably follow from that. You never know, the storyline might have changed more so to suit Galactica in Forbidden Valley, you know? Eve, that robot that's really annoying in the Galactica station, might have come over and just taken over Nemesis. Talking of stations, the station for Nemesis Reborn. I could see the lighting package being upgraded massively for that. There might be some more machinery in there, or if it's to do with the fact this alien thing has broken out again, it could be more alienated. There could be hints of mist in the building as well. Or because of the lighting in there, it'd be amazing to see a dispatch effect like you see on Black Mamba at Phantasialand. What a great quality video of that. And I reckon the exterior of the station too will be made to be more black and red like the coaster. You know, it might not be white and rustic anymore, but we need to suit the track. That's how it was, you know. Because as much as that station was painted up in 2017 or around then. I feel like it still could do with a little bit of a refresh. Something I didn't mention is the fact that we might see some mist and smoke effects going into the tunnels of the ride in the pits and maybe even around the area having more theming like they did for the closing event. Either way, I feel like towers when they reopen this ride are going to have exceeded everyone's expectations as they usually do with the exception of one recent event. The ride will be extremely smooth, it'll probably ride better than it ever has done, and it will look better than it ever has done too. What do you think Nemesis will be like when it's returned, or when it's rebirthed? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and donate to Hero All Day.